just got started and I want to show you what I'm planning to do. So I'm here and I'm walking now to the start of the gateway loop and then I'm going to do the gateway loop and I can't see a thing. Oh, there we go. All right gateway loop and then I'm going off here to the Bell Pass which is here and that's three and a half miles but then I'm planning to go over and down to Windgate Pass and that's the one and then I'm gonna continue to Inspiration Point and then I'm gonna go back down connect back to the gateway loop and back I believe it's about 10 miles with Bell Pass being the highest point, kind of a uh, little strenuous there, so, but I think I'm prepared. I have lots of water. It is already um, pretty warm for Phoenix. I have to do another shot of this gorgeous sunrise. It's just so beautiful. So I just got on the Bell Pass trail um, a few minutes ago and the sun's coming up over there, Scottsdale, and uh, a couple of hikers ahead of me and up there is Bell Pass and then I'll go over and around views in here are just so beautiful and especially right now we had all this rain a couple of weeks ago everything is starting to bud and even bloom at, at times you see the how green the grass is yep we're in Metro Phoenix so well we're in Scottsdale right now but it is Metro Phoenix. So, continuing on, still got a long way to go to Bell Pass, and then over Bell Pass. So we'll see. Bell Pass is, the last mile is a killer. It's really steep. And as you can see this, it's not really my favorite as far as trails. Um, I mean it is a great trail but what I mean is the, these loose rocks just really take a toll um, up and down. Even more so down because they're pretty much all loose and, and the steeper it is the scarier it gets. So all right, pressing on. Here's a view. Only a tenth of a mile further up where it just was. And you can see how fast I, I'm climbing. I'll try to take you a little bit on the trail. I remember the first time I did this, this last half mile would not end.
And it is very fatiguing on the legs. Just never really having a good sturdy grip most of the time with this rock. Pass, there's the trail. Well, actually, there's a little double trail that they both come to the last portion, and that's the part that really kicks butt. Lots of people up here over there, Strong Hills. I will be going now towards that direction and down. And yep, it's just a really beautiful day for a hike. So I will catch up with you at Windgate. Or in between. Right. I'm getting to my junction. So Windgate Pass is 0.9 miles and then back to the trail at 5.5. And Bell Pass, 3,204 feet, was 0.4 miles up there. So I'm 2.4 miles into my hike and now I'm continuing down this way. This looks like an interesting trail up there. That might be Thompson Peak. That is so green. I know I keep saying that. Windgate is right in front of me here, and I think up there is Lookout Point. I'm not sure if it's this one or this one, because you can see Windgate from Lookout. Um, hiked that a month ago, actually as a small side hike uh, of Tom's Thumb from the Tom's Thumb Trailhead. So. there to Wingate Pass and they did actually confuse me because that sign and I have to go back on my video I thought said 0.9 mile to Wingate Pass but I think I know it was 0.9 mile to that next sign which from there it then still was 0.9 so unless I'm completely on a hiker's high. Hey, there's, there's Winky Pass. And misread the first sign. Uh, it was slightly confusing and didn't make sense me going downhill to another pass. So, okay. I'll see you when I'm up there. Look at these big rocks, this quartz. They're so beautiful. And right now they're like everywhere. And it like breaks off on the trail. There's the trail I hiked a month ago to Tom's Thumb. Feeling great. 
street. And on we go. Okay, I'm about a mile. A mile from the trailhead. Um, once I hit Inspiration Pass, it actually gets crowded. Um, the people that do the gateway kind of talk by stuff, as you can see. And this is why I start early. This trailhead is a zoo now. But I made it! Yay! 